So, I had some time to reflect about Onyx Holy Mods. Looking at your guys' comments, you guys really like it. So, we're gonna continue doing this. Give us some thoughts below. Let us know how you feel about these series. We love it, we love doing it. We're excited, again, to show you what we have in store for you today. Roll the intro. We have another special guest here. Super stylish girl that reflects her bike that you guys are about to see. Let's check it out. What's up? Hey Nathan, how's it going? Good, how are you? It's good to see you. Thanks for coming by. This is amazing. Thanks for having me. Excited to show you guys what this thing's about. Welcome to Onyx Holy Mods. Everybody, this is Celinda. Hey everybody, <laughs> I'm Celinda. Give us a little background. How'd you get into the Onyx? What do you do behind the scenes? And how'd you get to your bike? How did your bike get to this point? Yeah, um, so the story behind my Onyx is um, this was a pandemic, post-pandemic um, gift to myself. Um, yeah. During that time, uh, a lot of us were stuck indoors with not much to do. Mm -hmm. And um, it was actually kind of depressing. So um, uh, I went on YouTube one day and I saw this guy, Julio Milani, riding his Onyx. Shout out. Shout out to... Turn the camera. Turn the camera. <laughs> Shout out to our uh, videographer director over there. Um, so Julio was riding his Onyx in the empty streets of downtown LA at night and it was so cool. It was just so post-apocalyptic. There was nobody on the streets. And um, I love city landscapes, city nightscapes. Um, nice. The city was all lit up behind him and everything. And that's how I got a lit up Onyx too. My favorite time to ride an Onyx is at nighttime. And with all the lights and all the mods, um, it's nearly impossible to miss an Onyx on the streets. Not only does it look awesome, but it's lit awesomely. <laughs> and um, the reason for that is um, as you might know, um, Chris, Christopher oh. Anchata, 4L. Um, can we just, like... real quick, <laughs> real quick, can we just do a special appearance? Everybody, you know who it is. <laughs> Thank you, all right, all right. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got paid to say that, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Sweet, yeah, so what was the first mod that you did to the bike once you received it? Um, my first mod on this bike was the seat. Um, but this is my third seat now, and it's um, done by Maze. Sweet. Yeah, so, yeah. Shout um, out Maze. It's very important to me that it's comfortable to ride, because it may look good, but you may not want to ride it if it's not comfortable. So um, that was my first mod. And my second mod was Side Lights. Let's go. By Chris. By Chris. Yeah, once trademark, again. copyright, Chris. <laughs> right there. He was like the first dude to do it on all these electric bikes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's completely like embedded into the frame. It's flushed. It's, it's flush. Flushed. And then obviously I got the wheel lights and. Hold on, guys. Yeah. One second. That's a blessing right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, talked about your lights on your in between your wood cover and your panels. It's amazing. What have you done to your wood cover? It's super so, sweet. So yeah, that's a, that's a little bit of my steez right there. Um, it's pretty gangster. That's a little <laughs> chola looking. Hey. So I got some bandana to represent that side of me. Um, nice. This is a little ska-ish. So that's like my yeah. punk ska side. And, and moving on to the handlebars, since you got this thing right here, what kind of handlebars are these? They're not your typical Onyx bars. They are a little wide, wider, so walk us through that. I felt like these wider bars help with ergonomics and riding the bike. Um, like I said, um, being able to stay on your bike longer is better yeah. than just being able to ride for a short time because you're uncomfortable. So these bars being wide out lets my um, shoulders relax and my arms relax and I'm able to ride for longer periods of time because of the, these bars. Nice. And does that help with handling too? Have you felt a difference in like turns and oh, whatnot? Oh yeah, 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 totally. There you go. Um, it also gives it like a moto BMX kind of mm -hmm. feel to the ride. And so going on to your controls, it looks like this 
looks stock from what we have, but on this side with your throttle and switches, what's going on here? Um, so instead of um, using the power on power, well, actually, let's cut that because I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we have that in there. This looks cool. <laughs> we got buttons here. Okay, perfect. So yeah, tell us about these buttons here. It looks also inspired by someone we know, but I'm yeah. Not name names. So my Onyx has a lot of the Chris treatment, <laughs> as you can see. Um, he's my main mechanic. <laughs> um, nice. He added three buttons right here and let me choose the color. So I got a green button, a purple button, and a blue button. Um, the first button, the green one, controls my lights and my front headlight, and then. The middle button controls the side panel lights, and then I have one dummy button. It doesn't have anything yet, yet. Ah, what, are, um, what are the plans? What are the plans? Uh, that's that's a uh, top secret. Top secret. We don't right discuss yeah, these plans. We plants. never. A magician never tells his yeah. secrets. <laughs> I respect it. This is also a mod. Um, yeah. My headlights are super bright. I yeah. don't know if you've ever seen them, but um, they're almost too bright. But in yeah, the day, they're bright. yeah, they're For really sure. bright. <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I see you got a really cool front fender. Is that held with magnets? Nope. <laughs> nope. That's on there. Nope. That's on there. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. You got this white fender. You got the wheel covers. Um, super intriguing. Again, walk us through these white wheel covers. So the white wheel covers, um, I don't know if you guys seen Chris's bike. He has the black ones, so I just yeah. thought I would get the white one. I'm kind of like yin and yang of Chris, yeah. so I, um, I thought that was proper. They are Tron inspired. They have the lights, the wheel lights that go around them. Um, so during the day and the night, you can see it, see me. I mean, it's yeah. bright. What's what's the inspiration behind the white fender and this bar light? Um, so the inspiration is that. This is cleaner than just having the, yeah. um, the tail light that came stock with the, mm -hmm. with the onyx. Um, the whole idea is just to make everything as flush as possible. Yeah. Um, the white um, fenders just match the white wheels, so it accentuates what is white on the bike already. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. they say like our onyxes are like extensions of our personality, right? Exactly. So, um, punk, chola, and cyberpunk yeah. all in one just like me there you go <laughs> that's awesome and then on the rear again you have different shocks are those the ego boost yes they are that and actually was another one of the first mods i did um, nice. it helps tremendously and if you ever take this thing on gravel or dirt roads um, you can definitely tell the difference nice yep yep okay so yeah these pedals we've seen them before but walk us through them I love these things. Oh, these pedals are so cool. They're like a Kickstarter project. Uh, Chris um, found it um, before they went on Amazon. And uh, I ordered some and then I canceled my order and then he got them and I said, those are so sick. And then I ended up buying them. And there now I go. have like three pairs. What? I literally have these pedals on my other bikes too at home. I'll take some. Thank you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and then back there you got these pegs, those pegs are beefy. What kind of pegs are those? Um, those are hand-me-downs. Yeah? Yeah. By Chris? By Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I love your bike. It's amazing. But I know you have two Triumphs. You have one bobber, one cafe racer. Very similar. I mean, they both have two wheels, but what makes you ride one more than the other? From coming from like combustion to electric? So many reasons uh, keep me coming back and riding my Onyx just as much as I ride my gas motorcycles. Um, a few of them being the fact that this bike can go anywhere. Anywhere that a motorcycle cannot go, this bike goes. And that makes it leagues more fun. Some of the places we've taken our Onyxes is up Griffith Park. You can't take your motorcycle through the off-road back roads of Griffith Park. Uh, we've ridden our bikes in Vasquez Rocks. Um, that's another place that's off-road. Um, a lot of the times um, we take bike paths that connect to roads, connect to mountains. Um, this bike covers all of those things. So having both um, 
gas motorcycles and an onyx, I'm able to cover all the ground that one can't cover and the other one can and vice versa. Um, it's the best of both worlds. If I want to go on a long ride through um, long distances um, and go over 60 miles per hour, then I ride the Triumphs. But if I want to just chill, like take this to the coffee shop, a restaurant, uh, we actually park this in front of like bars, movie theaters, we park on the sidewalks, um, we take it everywhere with us. You just load it up into your car and go. <laughs> um, I want to touch detail though on this wood cover. This is not our s standard locking cover. This is more of like a safe lock. Like what, what kind of lock is that? Um, yeah, this is an aftermarket um, lock. Um, the reason why this is on here is because um, when you have these side panel lights um, installed, mm -hmm. it creates a larger space. Gotcha. So you need a longer latch. So this is why we, um, we've changed this because the, the um, standard lock, it's a little too short. yeah, it's yeah. too short. But no, um, it's a sleek look. I love that. Yeah, it's black. It looks good. So your bike, is totally different. I mean, we've seen Chris's, we've seen Anthony's, we have this whole list on our Onyx Holy Mods series. And I'm just curious, what motivates you to keep making modifications and, and having that urge to just keep modding? The Onyx is a very modifiable bike. Um, there's so many things you could do to it. It's like adult Legos. Like everything is interchangeable during the day you want a certain kind of vibe during the night you want a certain kind of vibe um, depends on what kind of ride you're doing um, sometimes when it's just a chill day we just want to we don't turn on the lights you know we just yeah. ride and then but then when we go out with our friends we we love talking about all of our mods and yeah. showing off our mods to one another like pushing the limits of what can be done to them yeah. and what can't i've seen some awesome mods out there i just i can't believe they could do that to this bike yeah. but this bike literally um is able like your imagination sky's the limit with this bike like yeah. Whatever you think up, you can make it happen on this bike. And you can't really do that many things to a motorcycle like you can to an Onyx. Which is mind blowing. And that, I think, don't mean to cut you off, but <laughs> that it's, it's cool how the community comes together and you guys share all these interests and you, know, you guys help each other build mods or make mods. And that's kind of why we're doing this series. It definitely reflects your personality. And it's just very unique what we have going on and what you have going on here too. So we have one more thing for you to do and that's to sign the Holy Mods wall. Let's do Let's it. Let's check it out. Right. Cool. Well, it's that time. It's that time. The do wall it. of fame. The wall of fame. All right, if I could reach up there next to Chris. <laughs> do we put our social too? I mean our social media? So you can put your social security number. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming by. This has been an amazing episode. Um, check her out on her Instagram. She's got some sweet stuff on there. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace. At least if I ride it through there, it'll look cool. That's harder than it looks, man. <laughs>